Hey there. Um, man, it's late. I'm sitting up uh, editing this video and just uh, starting to think about why I got such like a stir in me or uh, just a passion about this one. And I really know what it is. <clears throat> I know what it is. <clears throat> I'm almost getting choked up thinking about it. Uh, for whatever reason, this this skill set, this required mechanic skill set of being able to install this piston circle, it really reminds me of uh, the many times I dealt with my mom and her illness where uh, a nurse had to install an IV and just how many times it just seemed like they were scared or nervous or <clears throat> inexperienced. And, and like with any skill set, um, it takes time. It takes time to get good at it. And really, I've been chewing on this for a long time. And like, what what is the energy that I have behind this? Like, you know, with my students or former employees or whatnot about about doing this. And I think it was just that correlation that inside I was thinking about all the times that somebody was practicing their craft with uh, with not knowing what they were doing. And I'm talking about the fact of like just poking and stabbing. If anybody's ever had to deal with somebody that's sick and and went in and <clears throat> you know dealt with you know, someone that uh, just, you know, kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. And these, you know, on live humans, obviously, is a bad deal. But it just sometimes when I ask them, do you know what you're doing? Why are you choosing to put that needle right there? Why are you, you know, uh, what are all the steps you're doing? Are you tapping the arm to get the blood to, you know, build up? Or, you know, do you know what you're doing? And so, you know, I'm on this passionate quest. If anybody's following uh, my inspirational videos or, or my other uh, uh, videos about um, trying to inspire and motivate in education is that this is just not one of those things. You need to practice it, but you want to go into this knowing what you're doing. And, and that sounds so generic, sounds so cliche, like you should know what you're doing, but man, I'm talking seriously. You know, the placement of that screwdriver and knowing that, well, if I put it exactly here and pry a little here and give a little push, I have great opportunity for success. It's just like that nurse grabbing that needle and before poking that needle 10 times to go, I just really, I can't do this. And then call an anesthesia or somebody else, uh, you know, to finish that job, dig into your craft, <clears throat> whatever that might be. We could throw so many examples out there of different technical trades uh, from construction to welding. I've, I've talked about this many times, but whatever it is. Uh, dig into it and practice it. And I'd ask you, how are you going to practice it? You know, so many times I see students, they go, they do this, that clip snaps in, and it's almost like they go, whoo, and I'll, I'll go over and I'll pull the clip back out, and they're like, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? It was in. You didn't confidently put it in. You didn't confidently know and understand or comprehend. You got lucky. Don't go through life being lucky. Go through life being skilled. Go do this over and over and over. Yeah, how much are these clips? 20 cents, 50 cents or whatnot? Man, go buy 50 of them. Put them in. I encourage you, put them in wrong. Bend them, twist them, look at it, stick it in a magnifying glass. Really analyze what you're doing because <clears throat> if you're going to be a mechanic and do any engine overhaul, you're going to put a lot of wrist pin clips in your life. Uh, I'm over 20 years in this industry, and I, I, I couldn't even begin to count or tell you how many times I've done this. If you're a nurse, uh, it's a really good chance. You can put a lot of needles in people, a lot of IVs or whatnot. Figure it out. Go watch somebody that's excellent. Ask questions. I mean, go out. Be amazing. Uh, can't stress enough. Work on your craft. So um, to all you out there watching these, I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, keep on wrenching, being excellent, and uh, follow your mentor.